Right, in an old video um, where I went out crab wheeling and fishing and that kind of thing, and on the end of that video I put in how to make this, a crab wheel, or a drop net, whichever you want to refer to it as. Now, um, I get asked quite often how to make these, and it's on the end of that video, so quite often it gets overlooked because it was, like I said, the whole video was about fishing, and then I just stopped this on the end. So, I've taken that video, I've, I've cut it off the end, and I'm going to put it onto this video, and it'll be a very short video, and all it is is how to make this using a ball of string, this particular one. You don't need to use a ball of string, you can tie netting in, but to be honest, a ball of string will make you that. You won't have to buy expensive netting, and it takes probably just as long to make this as it does to tie the netting in that you bought. So, um, there's that. You can also do this, and when you do it this way, you can make the size of the hole you want. Or, you could tie shrimp netting in there as well, and just have it as a shrimp net. And if you want it deeper, just make more holes and keep making holes for as long as you want, and then tie it up, and then you've got yourself a drop net. But, they're very quick, they're very easy. We used to make them as children, um, when we were at school. We, we used to make them using box string and an old wheel. Then after school, we'd go down off the rocks, throw them in the water, and we used to catch the spider crabs. And we have caught lobsters, and we have caught brown crab, and there was well. So they'll pretty much catch whatever's in your area. Anyway, like I say, this is a re-upload of how to make this particular one. Quality might be a bit like that, because <laughs> it's an old video, but I've just upscaled it a bit to make it a little bit better. As fate would have it, my neighbour was actually throwing out some mountain bikes. So I actually took one of the wheels and thought, well, I'll show you how we used to do these years ago. Now, as you can see, this is just a netting needle. You don't need a netting needle. You can just use a bit of wood or you can just use a bit of string and just keep tying extra bits on each time. Or you can just thread it through if you want to do it the long way with a long piece of string. It's entirely up to you. But you see here, this is the wheel. And you can see on the wheel, that I've actually gone around once. You go in and out through here, through there, all the way around to start with, and then you tie a knot, joining the two ends together, and then what you do is you start uh, going through each loop. Now leave yourself enough slack, don't make this tight, Make it because you need to be able to push this through through these here. So make sure you've got at least some slack. And then you just go around. You just literally, like we've got here, I've carried on. Um, you go around the whole thing, and then when you come back to the next loop, each loop, you just literally tie a single little knot like that. Literally like that, so you've got another loop. And you're slowly building up a net, basically. You can do this with any kind of string, really. I use this one. This is more like they use for a crab pot like string. It's a thin one. Do the same again there. And like I say, leave yourself a here, leave yourself a little bit of slack. Depending on the size of the net you want, you can make it smaller or you can make it bigger. For spider crabs, you don't really need it that small. But if you're going for lobster, you might want to make them a little bit smaller just to stop the lobsters falling through. And basically, I'll just keep going around that on every loop. And then once we get around back to the start again, we'll go on the loops we've just made. And you just keep doing that till you meet up. Now, obviously, you just keep adding loops to make it a little bit looser for the centre. So you've got your, in the end, you've got yourself your drop net, or your, uh, you know, the net hanging down, so there's a bit of slack. But I mean, with this, the crab's legs will fall th through the holes, and they get caught in it as you pull it up. But uh, I'll be back when I finish. It won't take me long just to quickly um, net this up, and then we'll see the finished item. Right, well, there you go. One finished crab wheel. Got the three strings, you can put four if you like, but I always just put three just to a loop and you can tie your main string or rope on there. Just make sure you've got a piece of wire in the bottom, put your bait on. And these strings on the end, when you put these on, just go through the hole so it doesn't slide. Right, well I'll probably make another video sometime. Um, we'll actually may take this down and use it some. I might take it off the local break water or pier, see if we can catch a few crabs one one day and we'll see how this one works out. It's a bit smaller than the other one but it doesn't really matter, they still work fine. And like I say you can even you just use them for as a as a drop net for landing your fish if you if you want. 
but it's a very cheap way. All you need is a ball of string, a wheel rim, and a bit of wire if you use it for crabs. If not, you don't even need that. Just make sure your string that you use to the surface or rope is stronger than these. Then if you have to snap it, if it snags, it'll snap one and it'll pull.